Yes. All right, Richard Nikolai, freetheanimal.com. Uh, on day, uh, almost at the end of day three of zero alcohol. And um, so, uh, but this is gonna be a rant. So you get to hear what a stone cold sober rant is like, rather than my usual uh, inebriated ones. Um, so, uh, this is a video about a guy named William J. Beck III, uh, also known as Billy Beck. Now, uh, a lot of you won't recognize that. Um, he's a guy I've known since 1992, so we're talking 30 years. And um, uh, to, yeah, he, he's a, he was a popular blogger back in the blogging days. Uh, in fact, uh, it was one of the reasons I started blogging. He was. And um, he had a lot of good connections and, and so on. Uh, and um, it was in the, uh, let me adjust this camera just a bit, bear with me. Just set it up here. The, yeah, yeah, that's better. Yeah, yeah, then I can like kind of go down like this. All right, so, um, um, and, uh, uh, but I had known him previously on, on a thing called Usenet. And I was like, hey, this guy's cool. I like him. So, um, and we had, you know, corresponded time to time a lot. Uh, and I even uh, met him in person twice, uh, in San, both times in San Francisco when he was out doing gigs for Peebo. He does the lighting for Peebo. I'm sure you recognize that name. Um, a whole new world. Um, so, uh. Uh, anyway, um, we ran into two issues at a point because he, he, when, he when he went over to Facebook, he kind of dropped his blog and he went to Facebook exclusively. Um, and uh, so in about 2012, um, I got, my dad got, came, from, came back from Germany and he had this kind of, uh, German-made um, spirit. Turned out to be like Everclear. I mean, almost pure alcohol. And I use alcohol because uh, I know my dosage, right? So I overdid it on this one, and I went into a uh, into a, um, a post, and um, I shit all over one of his um, one of his fans. Perry was his name, and um, and. Beck says, uh, ah, you, uh, you know, he didn't deserve that, blah, 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 and he blocked me. And, uh, and uh, I stayed blocked until like 2015, and uh, then he blocked me again, and we've had no communication in seven years. Anyway, so that's the brief on it. So, uh, um, and then I'll do added things at the end. So, uh, the other thing is that for s somehow I had a comment notification to my email turned off on YouTube. And um, I was like, um, and so today I was just looking at comments and I see, oh, there's a, um, uh, you know, um, waiting approval tab. And I'm like, oh, and I click that. <laughs> pages and pages of comments going back a long time to to approve and then there is one from yesterday that's what's so serendipitous about this and it's from Billy Beck and um, I look at it and it is to this video that I mentioned in my post about um, not being able to uh, enjoy food anymore I don't really I don't want to eat anything uh, and uh, I had mentioned that one of the possible pr uh, issues with getting cracked in the jaw, right? And I, I, uh, I put a link to the CCTV video, and uh, there's a comment from Beck. Now, I summarily deleted it, um, and I'll tell you why in a, in a bit, but, but uh, it was short enough. Uh, and I, went to, I went to drop off clothes for washing, and then went to breakfast, and I'm sitting there, I'm like, damn. 
I wish I wouldn't have deleted that because you can't recover them. Luckily, it was short enough that I, I remember it verb, if not verbatim, very close. <sighs> Quote, you miserable lout. That's the most unsurprising thing I've ever seen. Paragraph. <clears throat> My deceased father laughs in his grave at you. Paragraph. This is the last you will ever get from me, ever. Close quote. All right. Just unpack that a little bit. And rant. All right. You miserable loud. Well, you miserable pothead. I use alk. I, I saw you with my own eyes in your hotel room in the Marriott smoke up before going right down to work to set up lighting on Peebo's stage. Now in what world is that appropriate for a working man? Go into work stoned? Really? I've never uh, gone to work drunk. I've never drank on the job. The worst you could say about me is I've, I've been slightly uh, hung over a, a time or two. And I, I use alcohol because I know the dose. Uh, I, I, ex I explained to you in your hotel room when you offered it to me that I don't much care for it anymore. And one of the reasons why is that when I was smoking it back in college and da da da, it was very reliable. Um, I knew what I was getting. I knew what a what a what what one little bong hit, one a, a small bowl bong hit would do to me, right? And I could function perfectly fine, right? But now it's with all the miracle marijuana and then all the breeding and stuff, you never know what you get. You know, one time it'll be fine. You know, and I, I'm, I'll, I'll have a, a, a toke now and then, right? Two, three times a year, really. And uh, sometimes it's fine and sometimes it's like, holy fuck, and I'm, I'm completely useless out of my head for three hours, four hours. So that's why I don't do it. I don't like it. Plus, I don't really like my thoughts when I'm stoned. I like my thoughts when I'm drunk. And um, so there's that. You, so, so you're a pothead, Beck. Fuck off. All right. Um, that's the least unsurprising. Oh, you know, that's the least unsurprising thing I've ever seen. And, and also on the, on the loud thing, you know, uh, what you think of me is none of my business. Quote, what you think of me is n none of my business. Billy Beck, years ago. Look, I took that to heart better than you ever did. And I've seen it so many, 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 many times. So often you don't really, you don't really uh, argue anything. You just insult people. Tell them what you think of them. Like they should fucking care. <sighs> you hypocrite, you duplicitous hypocrite. Um, so, uh, my father's laughing at you in his grave. No, he's not. And if he was here as a military man, he would understand the particulars. You're a long-haired pothead, never suitable material for the military. And I could go on and on about your love of the military when you're the most unsuitable person for a job like that. And you know who I am, a former military officer of eight years. Navy, US Navy. Fuckhead. Fuck off, Beck. And in fact, if your dad was here and saw you say that, say, take glee over what happened, he'd slap your face, maybe, or he'd rebuke you. And then the fi final thing is the choice thing. I mean, it's hilarious. Right. So, this is the last you'll hear from me ever. Oh my God. You know, my ex-wife, um, ex-wife in, uh, was, uh, uh, you know, almost 20 years, was a school teacher, 35 years, mostly fifth grade, and she used to tell me, you know, boys are so much easier than, than girls because, uh, because girls or uh, boys, you know, have an altercation, and you know there may be fisticuffs or wrestling around, or 
you know, words, but usually within a few hours or days, they're, you know, buddies, right? Girls, they hold it for months and months and months and months and never let it in and, and uh, talk behind each other's back and criticize and da da da, da, da ch typical chick behavior, right? So here you have first uh, Billy saying, uh, you know, my dad laughs at you. Well, the story behind that is, um, is it when that first time when he banned me, um, uh, I, I, because I couldn't reply, so I emailed him the next day and I said, you know what, I was drunk, I shouldn't have said it, uh, you know, I'd like to apologize to, to Perry for it, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? I got basically a fuck off back from him. I don't know, know the exact words, but uh, so that's how I, that's when I popped off about his dad. I don't know what I said about that, but it wasn't nice. Um, and I shouldn't have, um, but I did. But it was fucking 12 years ago. Beck, you're a fucking schoolgirl. <laughs> you're a fucking schoolgirl, man. You hold a grudge that long? 10 years? <laughs> what a, what a beta boy little simp you are. <laughs> and then, to follow that up with, uh, um, this is the last you'll ever get from me, ever. I mean, this is like a chick telling me, you're never gonna see me again. Right? So he, he's, he's such chick behavior. But it, it goes hand in hand. See, uh, one thing I noted, uh, if you check on my blog, freetheanimal.com, and search Billy Beck, you'll see uh, dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of posts. So, because back in the day, I was in this whole philosophical uh, arena where you go around and morally and ethically condemn everybody else by the book of Ayn Rand. Ayn Rand. And, um, and that's how you go, and you, and you end up with a bunch of male sycophants. You know, if you were to go to Billy Buck's Facebook, you'd see it's probably however many, you know, um, hundreds of, of followers he has, I guarantee you 95% of them are men, or males, not men, males, right? Because they're sycophants, you know, they hang on Billy's every word, right? And he likes that. He, uh... Uh, what else, you know, it's, it's, uh, it, I say, okay, um, I, th I think one final thing, might as well make this short, right? Said enough, I don't want it to sound petty. Um, but, uh, you know, for years and years, I've seen him, so he espouses all these principles and no initiation of force and all of these libertarian slash anarchist, um, principles and yet he's always saying you know he's he's often talking about someone who should get beat to a pulp or something like that for uh, for saying something he doesn't like I've seen it over and over and over and over again right and uh, so you know um, I uh, Oh, okay. And so then uh, the, the, the uh, second time he banned me on Facebook was weird because I was actually kind of commending him and kind of trying to banner with him. Like I, I wrote something and he, and he wrote back something and I said something like, yeah, I, I, I kind of thought you'd, you'd say that, right? And he lays into me like, well, if you do, if, you, if you're waiting around to see what I think and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I'm like what are you talking about, man? I'm, I'm right? And he's like, say another word and I'll ban you. And said another word because, if, you know, <laughs> someone said, if you say another word, I will do this. Well, of course you're going to do it, right? <laughs> as, as every man should. But, you know, when you're dealing with a chick, <laughs> this is what happens. So he, uh, so he uh, blocked me again, and that was in 2015, seven years ago. Seven years ago. I haven't heard anything from him. And he says, this is the last you'll ever hear from me, ever. Like, uh, like um, 
Uh, you'll never see me again. <laughs> what a chick. What a girl. So you got a schoolgirl on the one hand, right, holding a grudge for 10 years about something I said um, because I tried to apologize and he told me to fuck off. So you get a fuck off back. And I try to make it hurt. So I, that's how I am, right? I don't fuck around, you little chick, you little pussy. Beck the pussy. You're a fucking pussy, man. So um, then, um, uh, okay, one last, uh, one last thing here. So he's commenting on that uh, thing. So I, I put this in the last video about um, the lack of taste, but I also put it in the blog. So I'm not sure whether you got the link to that uh, CCTV footage uh, um, from actually watching the video, which I explained what happened. Um, or just the thing and watched it and just what was in the post or the and the email that went out uh, Funny a guy who uh, who, who thinks I'm allowed uh, uh, Seems to check up on what I'm doing. Isn't that a laugh, right? More chick behavior um, so uh, Anyway Let me recap what happened that night. So I'm in a place I frequent it was called um, it's called uh, Thai Bunnies. It's based on, it's, the, it's kind of the Hooters model. And so it's got a lot of just unbelievably cute chicks. And I went in there a lot over the, th it was, it, would, it happened like three months in. So I'd been going there like, you know, a few times a, a, a week for the, and I banter with those girls all the time. Moreover, um, I've been bantering with Asian bar girls for 40 years. My first was in Pusan, Korea in 1982 when I was a midshipman. Um, I know what I'm doing. I've never had an altercation. It's always banter. They get it, they get it all the time. They know how to deal with it, right? So s these two who aren't even party to the conversation, as I'm leaving already, you know, come over and say, I think you should leave. And I'm like, what in the fuck do you think I'm doing? Mind your own business, right? And so I, I, I actually roll my bike down ready, ready, and I'm waiting to get onto the road and they come down to me, right? I did not say a cross word to them, right? They weren't parties to the conversation. It was none of their business whatsoever, right? And they're, but they're like these woke 20 somethings, right? I'm 60 years old, I'm sitting on a motorcycle with my hands on the handlebars. On the handlebars. Beck has no idea the context, he has no idea what was said. I was trying to explain to them that I banter with Thai girls, uh, t with Thai girls who work in bars for the explicit purpose of serving drinks and bantering with customers. <laughs> I mean, this is hilarious, right? And all of a sudden, uh, the the you, well, you see, you can see it in the in the uh, video. I'll link it in the description. It's a short uh, CCTV video where they just absolutely uh, knock me out cold. Two trained boxers in their twenties to a sixty-year-old man sitting on a motorcycle with both hands on the handlebars, and Beck thinks that's a laugh and he thinks his dad, his military father, his retired military father, is a laugh? Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Beck. Your dad would rebuke you if he knew the facts. And you should be fucking ashamed of yourself. That's puerile behavior. You're really laughing at that. But here's the end of the story, Beck. You think, oh, and this will be choice for you, right? This will be choice for you. What happened is within one week, the Thai police found them. And they got me 3,000 bucks from them to me. And it was all done on the, on, the, on the cop level, on the street, within one week. Swift justice. I accepted it. I accepted the 3,000 bucks. And um, 
they they quickly left the um, uh, the, the 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 country in uh, in shame once they learned that I was 60 years old. They had no idea. They thought I was like 40. I get that a lot. Um, but here's the here's the here's the really ironic part about it. Beck, you fucking pussy, is that. It was done in one week. There was no prosecutor. There was no state. The state versus these two guys. No. It was Richard Nikolai versus these two people. And the cops gave me justice. Right? What do you think about that? You stupid fuck. God. You're a stupid fuck, Beck. I'm glad you blocked me on Facebook. <laughs> You're fucking pathetic. All right. Fuck off.